This is a kit I got from Amazon for $25 on Prime with free shipping, and it's got everything you need for the course pretty well. It originally comes from China, but uh, ships uh, in about two days uh, to my address here in Kingston. There's a parts list, an Uno clone, which is not exactly an Arduino, but follows the open source hardware uh, characteristics, so it should work just the same. A resistor color code reference card, a CD that I'm not sure what to do with, and a collection of resistors. These first two look like diodes, but I think the others are all resistors, 10K and 330 ohms. A servo motor we'll learn more about later on wires to hook things together, and a solderless breadboard to attach all the components. There's some LEDs we can light up, and uh, some various components including a TMP36 temperature detector, and a variable resistance uh, cadmium sulfide photocell. Battery connector, screwdriver, and cable, plus this IC, which is not, definitely not, the INA125 amplifier we'll be using later on in the course. Mounting plate, a relay with some bent pins, a potentiometer, and a small DC motor. Now I'm going to attach all the components to the mounting plate. This is important because it will make your life much easier when you actually get to the lab. Peel the plastic off the mounting plate, then don't do it the way I did it the first time. I had to take it apart because I couldn't turn the nuts on the circuit board. Second try, I attached the standoffs uh, to the circuit board first and then mounted it to the uh, mounting plate. I was careful to get the breadboard lined up to the uh, mounting board and to make sure that the letters and numbers were right side up. Rubber feet at the corners will keep it from sliding around on the desktop when you're working in the lab. Now plug in the cable and download a sketch from the IDE and you should see the lights flash accordingly. Now you're ready to work with your Arduino in the lab or in one of the active learning sessions.